In this video, I'm going to show you how to install your front sway bar link. Okay friends, it's time to get started on our job. One of the first things you need to do is safely raise and support the front of the vehicle so the wheel's off the ground. After that, remove all five of your 21 millimeter lug nuts and then the wheel. Once you have the wheel off, continue on by putting one of the lug nuts onto the stud to hold your rotor in place. Now that we have that lug nut on there, let's continue on to the area where the sway bar link connects onto our front strut. You'll find that you have a 17 millimeter nut holding it in place. To easily remove that 17 millimeter nut, looking in the center of the stud, you'll find an area that you can use a six millimeter Allen head socket. So with that said, I'll continue on with a 17 millimeter wrench on my nut. After that, I'll use my six millimeter Allen head to hold the stud still. Now we're gonna continue by turning the 17 millimeter wrench counterclockwise to remove the mounting nut. It's common to find when you're trying to remove your sway bar link nut, as you're trying to hold the stud in the center, the hole will strip out. Now if that happens, commonly, you're gonna have to go ahead and replace the sway bar link because to remove it, you'll have to use some locking pliers from the back side of the strut where the sway bar link is. You'll squeeze on that sway bar link stud, hold it in place, and then remove the 17 millimeter nut. Now I have some locking pliers holding this in place along the back side. I'll continue removing my 17 millimeter mounting nut. Now that we have the top part of the sway bar link off, the next thing you wanna do is start removing the lower nut. You're gonna do that the same way. Try holding the center and removing the nut. Otherwise, continue on by using some locking pliers to hold it in place. Now that we have that mounting nut off of there, let's continue by removing the sway bar link. Now it's time to install our brand new sway bar link. Have a look into the center of the shaft. You'll find that you have an area for a five millimeter Allen head socket. Let's put this in place in the sway bar. Continue on by starting on your mounting nut. Once you have that started, we'll continue by snugging it up. Once it's snug, continue on by torquing it to 55 foot pounds. Let's get that sway bar link lined up with our strut. Push it right on through. Start on the nut, bottom it out, torque that to 55 foot pounds. Now we're just gonna start on all five of our 21 millimeter lug nuts. We'll bottom them out in a crisscross manner, get the wheel back on the ground, and then we'll torque each of them to 76 foot pounds. Now that we have the wheel safely on the ground, let's torque these in a crisscross manner. Okay friend, we got our sway bar link installed in the vehicle. Like I told you before, it's a good idea to make sure you replace these as a pair. Aside from that, take it for a road test, make sure you don't hear any funny noises. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.